we're live twice and uh so how you can tell you can see in the background um uh, how i'm getting everything all set up and i uh, have been on for a while uh also two guys uh i've been away with uh also two last weekend we had the big village wyerton rotary village fair which was a big success this year uh, like it always is, and uh, so anyhow, help out, helping out, out, uh, out, helping out with that, and uh, with set up, take down, and everything else like that. And uh, so there was a couple times you noticed that uh, I did, I did go live at the fair a couple times, and uh, so that way took the inside of the Wyerton Rotary Village Fair. Now we do have another one coming up um, for the fall that I. Th I think I do know that the road might be actually be Rotary that's doing it. Uh, usually, uh, Fall Fair uh, has a part in it anyways. I don't know if they're actually running this one, but it has a part in it anyways. Uh, so again, only thing is with the Fall Fair is different than the Summer uh, August Civic Holiday Weekend Fair. Uh, the Fall Fair contains no midway. It is all like farm, uh, horse, hay rides, and uh, farm displays and that kind of stuff. Um, so again, again, there's probably going to be the coin booth again, probably if I'm not mistaken, um, and that for the fall fair. Um, so the odd few things you might have seen at the uh, at the summer fair, uh, a little less stuff that they take out for the for the fall fair. But um, and then in the springtime of 2019 is uh, the big maple magic weekend, which is the maple syrup sugar bush um out at the oak farm so that that is quite that's quite interesting weekend as well and uh so next summer of 2019 the wyerton rotary august civic holiday weekend fair that just passed will be back in august uh in june uh of next year will be amazing race and usually on the fair weekend uh which is the august first weekend of August is usually the short of short run uh, which is a marathon uh, that goes on for again for also for that rotary is a part of as well and uh, so that'll be all picking up again next year uh, next summer but the only thing basically we have left coming up is is basically or for the probably be the fall fair um, and that kind of thing. So back to our regular, kind of back to our regular meetings and that every Thursday night. Um, so, so again, like I said, that is that is going to be quite, uh, quite, quite interesting. And I'm also looking forward to helping out uh, again next year. And uh, so, anyhow, uh, and uh, but probably be also be taking and signing up and be helping out at the amazing race and the uh, all the summer festivities again next summer. Uh, the ones that Rotary is doing, and that kind of like like so so again, it'll be uh, that'll be be a success. And then also too, there's the Rotary um, uh, golf tournament coming up in August of this year uh, on the 16th. So um, so so again, uh, uh, we're, we're always keeping busy, going somewhere. Um, the shelter, I do know that the shelter box. Um, uh, display will not be there next year in 2019 uh, he only comes every two years um, this year uh, he's going up to the the guy that does the shelter box uh, display tent displays and that with the big with the shelter box displays a rotary shelter box he's going out to the Arctic this year uh, next for next year uh, for 2019 so we won't see him till 2020 so he only come he only comes around for the the summer um, civic holiday weekend fair uh, every two years so um, oh the pen leave, but that is okay I'm always playing with pens I should be playing with pens and talking at the same time but that is okay um, so again those are those are some of the uh, so keep you updated on all that and uh, so um, basically for um, uh, so everybody does know that uh, on top of that we do have volunteers too at these events that I also too belong to uh, Friends of Rotary uh, which is another Rotary group 
which is fifty dollars a year and that kind of stuff that I pay into, and uh, and that. So you kind of mix mingle with the actual international guys. And uh, if it's an international night meeting, uh, you go to ten meetings a year and that kind of stuff. And uh, you uh, and that. So so again, it, it is a twenty dollar dinner meeting, and then if they have their socials, it's ten dollars. So, uh, plus they sell the 50 50 tickets and that kind of stuff, too. Uh, so, that is basically all. Oh, not bad. And um, so, that kind of clears. So, basically, I'm home for the rest of the summer. Um, unless, uh, unless I get called and more stuff comes up. But uh, also just to let everybody to when we have the big summer, um, uh, August, the first weekend of August, Civic Holiday, um, the Civic Holiday uh, Rotary Village Fair, I'm, I actually, I am the actual ground, fairground keeper at night that actually cleans up the, the, the garbage cans and that kind of stuff, change the bags for the next day while the fair is on. And uh, that, and I do that all weekend, and uh, then the last night of the fair, all the garbage gets gets cleaned up and put to the put to the back of the bingo tent. <laughs> and um, so basically, that is my job at the fair. Uh, that that I like doing, and that uh, other people do do other booths and that kind of thing. Also, too, I also assist at the birthday game and uh, help run the birthday game and that kind of stuff collect the coins and uh, this year was one of the uh, birthday game callers uh, now everybody is different just so everybody knows everybody sounds different on the birthday game microphone uh, everybody everybody's got different uh, calling techniques some are, are loud but a bit quiet quieter some people are just wild on the microphone uh, like the one guy we get he's so wild when he's on that microphone um, so everybody is different, uh, and then we used to have a guy where he is really, really a lot can be a lot <laughs> annoying, but he still draws people in, which is good. Um, so everybody had everybody is all different on on microphone, uh, call it the birthday game and that kind of, kind of thing to kind of kind of draw the, the birthday game players in, uh, and that kind of, so it is actually a fun game when you get into it and that kind of stuff, and. Um, So also too, we have October coming up. Uh, well, so far, uh, September coming up, where is probably going to see one more event uh, that Rotary would be helping out at. Uh, be be the fall fair with all the farm tools and all the all the farm animals. Get to watch the farmers actually clean their uh, clean their tools with a can of Coca Cola. <laughs> That's what they use the Coke for. They don't drink it. Uh, farmers will not drink Coke. They, if anything, farmers will drink Pepsi. They won't drink Coke. They actually buy the Coke up uh, to actually wash or to actually sterilize their farm tools to wash the rust off their farm tools with because <laughs> of all the, the acid. But they don't drink it. Um, if anything, thing thing a farmer's going to drink around here is Pepsi or. Sprite, Seven Up, or root beer. Other than that, uh, if it comes down down to Coke, they only buy up the Coca Cola at the grocery store just to wash the farm tools and their actual construction tools with, and their big uh, truck shovels with <laughs> to get the rust off or everything. Um, it works, but hey, <laughs> gotta keep them sanitized somehow. Um, so sterilized somehow. Um, but uh, so anyhow, that that is an update with that, and then also to October, um, we're back here at the Joker's on Duty Studio, uh, and uh, where there's going to be I am going to go live with on the October the sixth, uh, which is my live uh, big birthday live party social. We'll call it. Uh, we'll be actually we're going to go live YouTube. And um, also, too, now that uh, you can actually catch these shows on uh, on Dashboard Twitch TV. Uh, and uh, so I do have a Twitch account. So um, they will actually be uploaded to Twitch TV, to Dashboard TV. Uh, so that means everything's pre-recorded. 
and uh, you go live still the same as normal on YouTube or Facebook, and uh, you just down, download, you open up your Twitch account, and then you just download uh, your live streams, and uh, you actually you actually upload them to Twitch to Dashboard Twitch TV, which is on Twitch. Um, I don't, uh, I don't, I have never gone as far as uh, figuring out still yet how to actually go live on Twitch uh, itself. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated uh, than Facebook, but uh, and also too, you can share, you can like, share, share them off off to Twitter. Um, so, so again, it is, it is, it is an upload system. Thanksgiving is uh, Can our Canadian Thanksgiving is coming up in October too. Uh, we were going to take a break, but I think we are going to run a Jokers on Duty show for you. Um, so, so again, um, we we are going to um, I'll always keep that on uh, on update as well. Um, we used uh, we started out uh, doing doing uh, like what you call uh, name shout outs uh, a lot of people are not comfortable with that uh for different reasons so that is to uh, keep that under respect we will not these shows will not do will not do name shout outs uh we tried uh, there is a few people like 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 my sister that do like my older sister loves watching these shows and loves following them but does not wish to have their name mentioned on it uh which is understandable so we have we do have to keep that under respect uh, so if it comes down to like holidays or Christmas time or whatever, uh, we you be if it does happen to go into a shout out box, it is only going to be it is only going to be uh, like a like a Christmas card, uh, like a card format, a paper card format. Uh, that it'll say Merry Christmas from Jokers on Duty, uh, that kind of, kind of thing. That way there's there's no names involved. Uh, so we don't we don't hit a touchy department. <laughs> uh, people take things the wrong way, so we just want to keep uh, keep keep that all under respect as much as possible. And uh, also to uh, we also ask that you do keep these shows under that you do respect these shows uh, and that kind of stuff. There is some props like Halloween comes Halloween times. You are going to see uh, with the haunted house uh, that is going to be on here. Uh, like I said, if like to, like like if the haunted house bothers you, or whatever like that, you do not have to follow these shows. Um, if you have an issue with strobe lighting, because some of my Halloween shows, uh, I will turn on my strobe lights, um, especially if it's a haunted house theme. It is going to be all lit up in lights, uh, orange lights, strobe lighting. Uh, there's probably going to be possibility of dummies around here too popping up soon. Um, so, so again, like I said, there will be uh, it'll be pretty soon. We're going to be getting to that time. We're going to have to, where I'm actually going to. I am going to start dolling up the dummies. I decided again. I'm going to do the dummies uh, again. Stuffed dummies. Uh, there is going to be uh, there's going to be some props going up and that kind of stuff. Uh, there may be a couple props that may be used for the very first time, but the one prop I use I do have because the fact I do have a black cat. Uh, I have to keep them out of this room. Uh, if it is used on here, um, and that kind of thing, because it, it, it's kind of what spooks up the festivity of Halloween. Um, there is going to I have on or I actually have uh, a guys. I have a really cool Halloween haunted Halloween mask that I'm going to put on order uh, that I am going to uh, possessively order. For Halloween, uh, so it is a Halloween treat. I'm not going to spoil it. Um, it is in the works. I am also uh, putting in the works for ordering Halloween makeup, uh, so that way uh, Joker's on duty is going to get into some Halloween makeup. Where you're going to see me? Uh, where you actually going to? Where I'm going to come on here with my face actually dolled up in makeup, um, not ladies' makeup, but Halloween makeup. Uh, of different different kinds, um, just finding a good uh, just also right now just uh, just also uh, usually it's gonna be do it myself type thing so it's probably gonna be crappy looking I hope it's not I hope it works out um, other than that if I had a very cool uh, had somebody that actually knew how to do the artistry on the face the presentation on the makeup alone. Uh, it'd probably go good like a professional makeup artist. 
Um, but I kind of working with everything myself here. Uh, so again, those are some of the updates uh, that is that is going to that these shows are you going to see on these shows and that kind of stuff. Um, so actually, uh, it is uh, also too that the fact that um, we're not going to take the chance. Usually around Halloween time, a lot of live streamers will showcase horror movies. Uh, we are not gonna we are not gonna piss off that bridge <laughs> if possible. Uh, we're not gonna take that risk or chance um, because we don't we do not we don't want to be liability f getting into a t very touchy department uh, because there's so much copyright out there. Uh, we don't want to do anything that is going to upset the Facebook company itself. Um, that is going to create warning notices after warning notices. So again, like I said, we're, we're, we're being uh, we're being what you call very cautious and iffy. Uh, so so again, a lot of a lot of departments, when, especially when it comes down to Halloween. Um, so basically, even like like the, the last year, we risked uh, sound effects. Now the sound effects went through face. The actual sound effects guys went through Facebook with no problems um for the haunted house uh but again anything that is uh sing or actually artistry written with a singer uh we are not going to chance uh on that so um so so again uh we were we're, we're kind of puzzling it now all together to see how this is going to fit for the for our haunted house on here, live haunted house. So that way, it is going to make it still partially make it lively for you, and uh, enjoyable. Um, so, so again, if we do do sound effects, we will have to go to YouTube. Uh, that is the only thing to do. The sound effects we'll have to do that that particular show on YouTube. We can't do it on Facebook. Um, because we usually dollar store sound effects CDs don't really have a copyright to it issue, um, but again, we, t we a lot of that because of the fact that it is background sounding, uh, we are going to actually we're going to have to we will, we're actually going to converse to YouTube itself uh, for that for that for that for that for those kind of shows. Um, other than that, uh, for face for the haunted house on Facebook, it is going to be more of a quieter show. Uh, hey, Dylan, how you doing? Uh, and uh, so again, our so so again, we are going to be uh, we're going to be live on YouTube. We are going to be live on uh, Facebook, and we are going to which is pre recording live on YouTube, and it is also going to be uh, which is now we were doing the live streaming. Like we do the live streaming on Facebook and YouTube, then it is going to be downloaded and then it's going to be uploaded to uh, Twitch dashboard TV. So again, it will go. So again, the, the videos will appear on Twitch, uh, just like like the kind of just like the fair weekend uh, videos are actually also too. You can get follow me on Twitch. Uh, all you have to do is go sign up a Twitch account, and uh, if you don't already have one. And uh, so, so again, uh, you can follow me on Twitch, and I'm also on Twitter and Instagram. So, um, so, so again, so, so it gives you some uh, options. I'm a kind of all over the place type guy, uh, which is social media. Like a Maffers is actually going, is actually conversing through Facebook, through YouTube. Uh, on on the Instagram, uh, also to uh, Twitter and Twitch. Uh, so so again, uh, Michael Klotz, ha I don't think has signed up for Twitch yet, but he's working on it. Uh, MF is just working on going Twitch as well. So again, um, just just to let you know that my shows are actually also under mfers media so um which is back to back with the mfers so tech technically uh i come on and then eight o'clock uh from usually from eight o'clock to nine o'clock there's been times where i've been on at the same time uh i'm live in wyerton ontario uh canada on the south bruce bruce peninsula michael klotz mfers is live from guelph ontario uh so so again we um so so again, his shows come on. So 
technically we're network sharing uh, between both. Uh, so basically we're both on the same network. Um, Jokers on Duty is on the same network as uh, MFers is, so we're, we're kind of working together. Um, so, so again, they have, uh, again, this is not an MFer show, but Mike's is an MFer show. Uh, we basically, we basically are uh, in live, in live media streaming, uh, which I'm actually connected to MFers because I follow the MFers and SD, SDK Entertainment. Uh, so, so again, basic base, basically, uh, we, we basically connect back and forth. Um, so, 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 so technically, um, you know, so, so again, um, it, it keeps, it keeps Mike shows going quite strong too. So, um, so again, he has so far he hasn't had any rap concerts come up yet. Uh, for this year, he I think he is working on a couple. So far, he's been on the <laughs> ghost hunts uh, with spiritual detectives, uh, which is uh, which is where they say they were from now. Lavado, 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 Ontario. I can Lavetto, Ontario, somewhere around there, uh, which is haunted mansion farm house uh, that 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 they go into and uh that kind of stuff and uh so actually they go on spooky ghost hunts uh which is kind of cool so i think they have a couple halloween uh live halloween ghost investigation shows starting up uh apparently i guess uh fog tv is still on and going uh going good uh i'm not sure uh, sure what what he's up to these days uh, I guess he's uh, I guess he's gone a different direction, but he does is he's no I guess he's no he no, does he doesn't do MFers anymore. Uh, again, he's gone his own direction. Uh, I think he went with uh, Northern. Uh, I think they went with Northern Spiritual, um, Northern Paranormal Spiritual Investigators from the states, which is which is across in Michigan, Detroit. Um, which is out of Michigan, Detroit. They go all down through New York City. Uh, they cover uh, now North uh, Northern um, Spiritual uh, Paranormal Investigators, uh, Northern Star, I think they're called, and uh, Paranormal Investigators. Uh, they've done uh, everything from the actual paranormal investigation from the Anime Anime House in the states uh, in Terrytown, Sleepy Hollow. Um, so, so again, they did, they've done all through New York, Hudson Bay area and down through the United States. Uh, there is a couple times that they do come on a couple, they hook up with some of the Canadian paranormal investigators and they come across and they hook up together and they get authorization to go into these old homes, historical homes or buildings or, um, and that kind of thing. Uh, there was also... Uh, a paranormal uh, investigation crew in at the old Guelph prison, uh, I guess, <laughs> a couple of years back. By the way, I think a few or a couple of years back they went into there. Uh, abandoned prison and that kind of thing, haunted prison. So, so again, like I said, because I guess they, uh, I guess the people that still own it let them go through there and that kind of stuff, and they noticed the doors were opening and shutting by themselves. That's probably why they moved all the inmates out of there and built a new prison. I wouldn't blame them because they all get going loose and going free because uh, <laughs> the ghosts are all letting them out. Um, so, so again, like I said, so, so again, so, so again, they got a new facility or something like that in Guelph, but um. So, so there is a lot of uh, a lot a lot of interesting stories I've heard, anyways, about about that area. Um, so, so again, uh, but yeah. So I guess the fog crew is still also a uh, TV crew is still on Facebook. They're still we're going good uh, here, anyways. And uh, they also are are also on YouTube, but I think he's going. Uh, I think he's moving along. Into, I guess they're connecting with Northern Star uh, Paranormal Investigators in the states, so they're going totally across the border. So Fog TV, uh, the last time, just by reading up his uh, information on YouTube and uh, on his actual profile, 
uh, is that, that that he's planning on on going going north of the United States. So Fog uh, Fog TV is going the other other direction. Uh, at first, we thought they were going to be locally uh, coming around this direction. They started out coming around this direction, but they're going very big and going. They're actually going northern, so, southern of the United States. So they're going down through the Fog TV, uh, which is Paranormal Hunters of Guelph, uh, is going United States way. Uh, so again, they're they're they're, they're malcolmating with uh, with with Northern Star uh, Paranormal Investigate Investigation Company invest, investigators paranormal investigators so they're going the other way <laughs> they're going the trump way <laughs> they're going across doot, doot, the border uh so to the border so again a lot of their a lot of their a lot of their uh investigations are going that that away now uh so i guess they're getting very less this way so so again now spiritual uh spiritual detectives are coming from the northern side uh northern star investigators so uh, spiritual detectives are coming up this way so one's going the other way the other one's coming up through this way so so again it all depends which way they're going um some go some go east and west uh some will go so again it is like 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 they the way they put it uh is that they have uh psychics and spiritual investigators on 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 every sides of the compass north south east and west so it's whatever direction they're going or coming coming from so they're going in with every which way um so <laughs> all over the place um so that that is so that that that's that quite cool so so that they're, they're starting to air their own uh facebook live their own television networks um you know they're 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 they're, they're starting to run their own they're starting to run their own television program uh networking so the witch is kind of cool stuff to see and i'm going talking about getting a coke i'm gonna get myself a coke <laughs> <laughs> at least i actually drink it um the farmers around here like i said they will not drink coca-cola they just buy it to wash the farm tools with <laughs> um uh because that's all it's basically good for because other than that don't want you for the rat you got right in. um but uh yeah so I just wanted to do it. Uh, we just, I just wanted to do an update, and because uh, I have not been on since since the fair, and uh, talking about Twitch, uh, somebody just went live on Twitch, uh, probably Relic the Clown. Oh, by the way, guys, also too, uh, Monday Omega Mondays uh, with Relic the Clown, Relic Army. You can catch him on Facebook too live, uh, Monday nights, uh, and then after dark on Fridays uh, with Relic the Clown on. Um, uh, on uh, on Facebook Live, uh, he's a comic. Uh, also, he's out of Houston, Texas, uh, which is which is south of the United States of the border. Uh, again, so is the southern United States. But uh, with Creepy Hollow's haunted house, uh, Bastion the Vampire is going to be back. Father Bastion the Vampire is coming back on here too. Um, so so again, because we're getting closer to Halloween, we're getting closer to the fall months. Um, so again, they're getting ready for the vamp big vampire ball, uh, for, for October, end of October and that kind of stuff. So again, he is going to be selling, he be selling implant fangs, uh, real fangs that they, uh, that denturally, uh, they actually, they actually, uh, implant in your mouth. Um. So that is, so some of the cool stuff on there, and uh, also also the other most of the other times you can also catch uh, Relic the Clown on Twitch most of the time. So again, so it's felt my glass up. There we go. Didn't spill any on the floor this time, <laughs> like I did the last time. And uh, so again, though, those are some of some of the updates. Um, also, too, classic slashes of horror you can catch um, uh, most nights. Uh, he is on here where sometimes he does he does showcase horror movies.
Chinese, and uh, they have the chat slashes chat uh, slasher uh, slasher uh, classic slashers of horror. Uh, chat room is on Facebook Live as well. Scoops the clown, uh, really vodka the clown. They all come on Facebook. All the clown shows come on Facebook. Um, if you want to learn how to apply Halloween makeup to your face, there's a couple good how. There's a couple ladies that come on live on Facebook that will show you and teach you how to actually do it yourself. Put Halloween makeup on. Um, there is S. There is FX Cosmics uh, comes on, and there's a Spanish lady comes on and teaches you how to do actually full face makeup and that kind of stuff for Halloween parties and that kind of stuff, and how to apply it to your face yourself. <laughs> um, so, so again, those those are kind of kind of cool. To, also, other cool Facebook shows to follow. If you're looking for some cool Facebook TV shows to follow. Uh, there's a lot of good ones that come on here. A lot more. Uh, there is uh, there's psychics on here too, by the way, guys. Too, if you're into wanting to learn about psychic reading, uh, e, e, e or ESP abilities or, or spirituality, uh, there's tarot card readings on here too uh, with different people, different psychics uh, from all over the place. And uh, there is the guy, there's one guy from the United States by the name of Nick. He comes on with his, he has one of those big, huge uh, spiritual boards that he comes on with. And uh, he does a full psychic reading. Uh, now, mind you, a lot of those psychic shows, uh, you could go in and follow them. But again, uh, to actually get a psychic reading while they're live, uh, they do have a PayPal pool. Uh, that you do have to pay money to be to get your to get a, to get a live second reading for them to give you a second reading. So if they're drawn to you, um, the way they put it, um, then then they have no charge for 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 to do your psychic reading. Uh, but if you just want a psychic reading done. They have, they'll tell when they're online. They'll tell you how much it costs uh, per hour. Uh, for their time uh, when you tune in on their shows while they're live for them to do a live second greeting if they're not drawn to you want and because you want a second reading then you have to pay them money um, but if they're drawn to you and they can they connect and contact you uh, I guess the way the way they, they do it is they don't charge you for that um, They're all over, like I said, they're, they're all over the place, all over Facebook. Uh, they're also slowly working on Twitch um, and that. Uh, they're all, a lot of them are all slowly going with Twitch. Um, so, again, like I said, you can tell we're getting close to the fall month, uh, especially October. And uh, the October season and that kind of stuff, too. Uh, I can't even believe it will be 38 this year. Man, I'm getting old, um, but I won't be till October. Um, so again, I probably will get some party supplies and come live on either YouTube. Probably be a social thing. Um, excuse me. So also too, there's also too, there's also going to be lot, also too. When we get into October, you will see a lot of haunted houses going live on on Facebook Live. Uh, they'll be all over the way, place. They'll be on Twitch Live. They'll be showing up on YouTube Live. Uh, the, the, all the haunted houses will be all over the place uh, for the month of uh, for Halloween month, which is hot, the month of October. Uh, now we because we had a Friday the thirteenth fall on the Friday thirteenth uh, 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 we had a, the the uh, what was it the, um, the 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 thirteenth date fell on a Friday in July uh, there is not another Friday the thirteenth for a while down the road I don't think uh, 
we don't have a Friday the 13th. We don't have the 13th falling on a Friday uh, in October of this year. So we're good that way. So again, we, 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 we jokers on duty. We will not have that extra show. Uh, again, we're strictly devil. It will be strictly going all the way through to devil's night. Uh, so, so again, devil's night Halloween. Uh, so again, devil's night. I'm looking at, um, Hopefully, I get my supply. Order my sl supplies by Devil's Night at least. Uh, so, so that way, I've that way we are going to be able to spooky with. Um, hopefully, by then, the whole the whole studio here is going to be dolled up uh, with streamers. Um, kind of. Hopefully, my cat is not going to pull down my lights again this year. Uh, like he does every year, because every time I spend five hours putting those lights up, I had to fix a few bulbs. By the way, guys, um, I had to, again. I had to I, uh, again. I have to work out some duds uh, with the lights because one string of lights is not working. Uh, so, so again, I have to get those working before Halloween night. So I had to take them down and get them working and that kind of stuff. So they will be going back up. And like I said, I'm not spending five hours to put them up and a cat pull them down. <laughs> so. Um, we're going to we're gonna get them up again. Uh, so again, like I said, that there is going to be, uh, and also to the uh, the Halloween displays. Now this year, instead of wasting all my dirty laundry and them stinking up my dummies, um, my dummies are actually gonna be loaded up with newspaper. Uh, so again, they'll be stuffed with newspaper, probably some dollar store cotton balls or whatever. Uh, just let you know, guys, the dummies are not real. Everybody think because they look so real on here, on camera, they're really not real. That's why last year when we did the haunted, the haunted hunter's cabin last year, uh, I took you through and I can see I took the dummies apart so you can actually see. We did the actual live shows where you could actually see the dummies, uh, what was inside them, what they were stuffed with. But, that you can actually see they were not real. Uh, they just look real on camera to scare you with it. And in the dark, uh, when they're stuffed, they look real, especially when you got a dummy stuffed on an ironing board and it's got draped over with uh, with a blanket. Uh, it, it will look kind of real. <laughs> um, so, so again, just let you know, anything props you see on here uh, is not real. It is only for Halloween. Uh, the dummies are going to be stuffed. Uh, I've got a ghost by my Ghostbuster suit. Uh, is actually going to be stuffed. Ah, no, actually, I think no. I uh, I was going to wear it with with uh, Halloween supplies of mine, but no, maybe I I will probably stuff it up with newspaper or whatever. Um, and uh, my witch cloak is there too. Um, so so again, it, it is going to it is it is going to be it is actually going to be dolled up on a dummy this year definitely. Um, so again, I got I'm going to have to uh, mark off little corner sections. So I got to make room in corner sections uh, where everything is going to go and uh, and how everything's going to be decorated up. And um, that's so, so again like like it is all coming together. Um, so, so again, there's, uh, so again, each corner of the rooms is going to have different decorations, uh, going across, uh, go, uh just here, if, if you guys can see, um, uh, across, across the top, uh, is going to be caution tape streamers like we did last year. Um, I gotta get some stuff. I find that, that if it's, if I find that it sticks that it doesn't stick well with tape. Uh, again, I uh, there's uh, there's other tricks that I do to get it to stay up there. Um, so I got my little tricks that I that I uh, can actually I, I can actually get it to stay up there this time. So so that way there's uh, we get that all decorated. Uh, the closet door uh, is going to be dolled up. Uh, the doors are going to be dolled up. Um, so, so again, like I said, there is going to be, my camera stand is actually going to be in use, uh, which my camcorder stand is going to be in use because it has actually going to be some, it's going to be dolled up as a ghost as well, a uh, dummy ghost or demon ghost or whatever. I got a lot of ideas 
Uh, probably will run my karaoke machine that night with no music, by the way, just the microphones. Um, again, my headset. There'll be a couple shows again where you're gonna see me in my headset. The ghost scans. Uh, the one prop got, that I am going to be using is going to be uh, for a ghost scan. Please do not attempt to use the prop I'm about to use for Halloween. Uh, it is not a toy. Uh, yes, it's made by Parker's Brothers, but there is uh, there is what you call um, uh, what is this? It is comes with with a big responsibility and caution when you use it. Uh, if it is not used in the right manner, uh, it can cause a little trouble, the, 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 the prop itself. Uh, so, again, because it's got a mind of its own. Uh, so that's just why I'm going to actually bring in uh, four other people. So, and the, the four other people uh, that I bring in, plus myself, have used these before. And we know what we're doing. And uh, so, again, I'm going to bring in uh, somebody from probably, if anything, it'll be from out of town. Uh, somebody, I, people I know that have, that have used these things before, like I have. Um, I was taught how to properly use them. Uh, like, I have a few friends myself um, uh, that may come up for that, uh, for, for Devil's Night alone, if they can make it. Um, that I that I know that is that are actually that I went to high school with that are uh, so that are actually uh, what you call New Age Wiccans. So um, in that uh, that belong to the actual Wiccan community um, and that kind of thing or Wiccan societies. So like I said, the, the, so again, they will be uh, making their way out to Wyerton, Ontario, probably for October 30th. If I email them ahead of time, if I email my friends ahead of time, they will be out. Uh, they'll make arrangements to come out for that night. Uh, they will drive the six-hour <laughs> drive just to come out to see me and that kind of stuff too. So uh, they will be, they get an early enough notice, they will they will be able to take the time off work and actually spend that, come out here and spend that evening with me and that kind of thing. We'll probably go home the next day. Um, not Halloween, but probably, probably on the Wednesday. So, um, so, so again, like I said, that they're uh, actually close friends of mine. We went to school together. Uh, a couple of these guys, uh, some of them we did. Uh, so again, that are very that are now today that are, are, are actually that are actually now psychics uh, and that kind of thing. They were born with the spiritual abilities and everything else like that. And they were as kids. They were always they grew up as Wiccans as kids, Wiccan kids. So um, that's is why I said so. So they'll be making their way out this way <sighs> um, and that kind of stuff and. Um, so again, uh, like I said, so like I said, like like this certain prop, please do not ever attempt to try to use it yourself. Uh, it is, uh, it is, it, it it has a lot of spiritual mind of its own. Uh, technically, there's times where it will move on its own, um, and also to the coolest part, to it glows in the dark. <laughs> it's a glow in the dark. Um, so. So, so again, um, a lot of horror movie fans do collect these. They're wonderful collecting items. Um, but like I said, I do have it a lot. Like I said, it is tree. It is, it is a type of um, prop that is 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 treated. Uh, that is has to be under lock and key. Um, so, so again, uh, order to have them. No, it is not. Just like guys know, no, it is not a gun. It is not a rifle. Nothing like that. It is it is treated like a gun and a rifle because on uh, on on spiritually how powerful this board is. So again, it is under lock and key. Uh, again, I have a, in a locked briefcase. So again, it is uh, there's only certain like Halloween times, so on certain times it can come out. Uh, so again, it is it is it is it is actually has the same type of treatment. 
uh, that it has actually got to be contained to be be locked up in some type of contained system, a containment system, so of a locked briefcase or um, a locked uh, glass cabinet or a locked uh, lock or up away in a locked cupboard. Um, so uh, again, it is it is it is it is, it is very it, it does a lot of spooky stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it that way. Uh, so you could turn your actual haunted house into a real live spook fest. Um, <laughs> so um, that's so it's got to be handled a certain way. Uh, so this is why I'm bringing my Wiccan friends out. Uh, so so again, uh, so the three, uh, so them and me are the only ones that can handle this type of an item. Um, that are trained properly to handle this type of uh, type of uh, void item um, and that kind of, kind of stuff too so it does not get in the wrong hands um, or it doesn't get misused the wrong ways um, and that kind of stuff too so um, as long as the rules as long as it's it is complied to the rules uh like one of the rules with it is you do not use it in a cemetery you do not use it in a hospital or senior home where people are deathly ill or could be dying uh it is it is those are the hot spots uh, or the no no hot spots that they are to be avoided from being used um because if it is used in a cemetery, yes, definitely something is going to interact. It is something spiritual is going to happen. Uh, if it's used in a hospital where people are dying or senior home where people are dying, it is going to have a big effect. Uh, it, it'll actually act up. Um, other than that, uh, for safety precautions, uh, even, even on the Internet has uh, the safety rules of it. I will be getting a print off of the safety rules, and they will be also be posted, um, not on Facebook, but in my studio, um, due to the fact that I am an owner of one. Uh, so again, it will be posted uh, in my studio, uh, uh, somewhere on the wall, and uh, on how to properly use it, where to use it, where not to use it, uh, how to use it, how not to use it. Um, so that way uh it is it is it is doesn't cause it so that way if at any point in time if doors have to be closed uh then then automatically there the that automatically i've got people here to shut those doors i'm not talking about physical doors uh i'm not talking about my wife going around being an indian slamming doors all over the place because <laughs> she has a temper tantrum um but um uh, no, we're talking about spiritual doors. Uh, so, so that way, if anything, if anything happens to try to come through, or anything comes through, we can cut, we can shut those doors immediately. Uh, spiritual doors. So, that's this is why I'm going to actually have my wicked friends out here. Um, we can have fun with it for Halloween, yes, but there is also to uh, risks and guidelines uh, that. Uh, that uh, we have to actually be cautious with with putting on a haunted house too uh so so again uh if it is used in the right manner it won't act up and that kind of stuff they assured me of that um so so I, that's why my wiccan friends will be out here uh for that actual um of probably for 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 devil's night alone um when that comes out and that kind of stuff. so so that way it is so that way it is not going to cause any spiritual hanky panky in the middle of the night um because also too the fact we do live in an historical building so uh an old building very very old hundred year old building a historical building it is uh one of the oldest buildings in wyerton we're in the old part of wyerton um so again like i said it, it used to be a lot it, again it used to be a bank it used to be a different type of thing doctor's office uh somebody had different theories on what this building used to be some say it used to be an old funeral home some people say it used to be an old doctor's office hospital bank different at one time way 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 back 100 years ago it was the odds over the years it was different things before it was apartment building um 
one of the latest things, according to the history of one of the last things that was, was a bank. Uh, that uh, the that the, all these apartments we live in is a bank vault. Uh, so <laughs> technically, um, you know, it is is uh, quite interesting on that one. And um, so we, we've got our safety precautions on that for Halloween in place. Uh, so that way can, we can provide you a good Halloween show. And uh, even, by the way, when they make horror movies with these things, guys, too, they have to actually ensure safety with them as well. Uh, they do the same thing when they do actual horror movies. Uh, when they're using these kind of a props, if they know them spiritually, they got a history, um, historical history to it, or causing any spiritual historical history to it, um, they, 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 they actually do have to, have to before they put it on, on the movie, they make sure everything is going quite smoothly and well. Um, there is, by the way, there is actual on on Netflix. Uh, there is a lot of documentary shows on Netflix and YouTube. Uh, what kind of risks you can be taking with these kind of things? Uh, so again, it is like 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 they say they are fun to use, but uh, you have to be care. You had do have to be careful on how you use them and where you use them. Um, and how the what questions are asked, or what questions are not to be asked, uh, because the, it does answer. It does in all categories. It will give you the correct predictions and dates and everything else like that, and answer your questions very truthfully. Um, there is times where it stutters. It can lie. Um, you know. So again, there is different uh, different precautions. So again, like I said, that there is going to be draw. Uh, I am going to get the actual reg. I'm going to actually print off the actual regulations from my wall. So uh, it'll go behind me on one of the walls. Um, so again, like I said, so so again, that, again, this is, this night, uh, it is going to be. Uh, make sure that with these shows, uh, especially when we go into a haunted house. Uh, haunted houses can be can get to a very frightening stage, uh, so especially with the sound effects or whatever. Uh, with Facebook Live, we probably won't be using sound effects. It'll be more YouTube than anything. Um, but even the presentation of the looks of the props itself could probably even the dummies alone can scare you in the dark, especially uh, when it's so authentically quiet. Uh, haunted fireplace will be back. Um, our will be back as well. Uh, so, so again, like I said, so, uh, make sure that, uh, that, that, uh, that, uh, it is, it is, um, also to, like I said, that this, 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 the Facebook is open to anybody to follow and watch. Uh, but with it being a haunted house, uh, a lot of kids get scared of haunted houses and that kind of thing. So uh, make sure that anybody under the age of 18 has maybe may have frightening, may have uh, phobiaism or whatever. Make sure they're accompanied com by an adult. Or um, the best bet, don't follow those shows. Um, So again, so that way that 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 way that you're knowing ahead of time that uh, some haunted houses may actually may actually may put a put a jump jolt start into you and actually scare you because uh, I am a because I am an authentical uh, big time horror movie fan and fanatic. So uh, again, so anything to do with um, haunted houses, zombies, Dracula. Uh, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, I'm into. Um, I do have comedies that I have, like science fiction, that I watch to break off the horror channels before I go to bed in my mind. So that way I don't have nightmares. I've been down that road too many times as a kid. <laughs> Not fun. Even though I got over that. Uh, so again, uh, also too, uh, Joker's on duty is going the MF her way. Uh, so, uh, oh, 
I've got, I just got to add stickers to it, but uh, I got myself what you call one of those, uh, what you call, it is a swear box. It is a nice metal swear box, locks up. So anytime anybody sits on sits in my home and on my shows, and they come out with the dirty language, they got to pay a toonie uh, in the box. So uh, they're going to be broke if they got a dirty mouth. <laughs> um, so so again because we are live on Facebook and anybody so anybody sits in my uh, on my side of the camera that's actually on the camera and they're gonna come visit it'll be a guest on the show uh, any swearing they're losing a toonie so be prepared to save your toonies because uh, you're gonna lose them if you come on here and start mouth, uh, start shooting off the sailor mouth and start swearing um, or any swear language you slip uh, first time I'm not worried about it but it continues to go on <laughs> with the guests. Uh, they're going to be paying a toonie in, into the square box. Uh, so they'll be losing the toonie. Um, so if you don't want to lose your toonies, don't swear. <laughs> uh, try to control the mouth. I know it is hard. I have that problem to myself. Um, sometimes I, I'm not. I, sometimes I, 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 I lose toonies into that thing all the time. Um, but, uh, the good, good thing is because it's my, my swear box, my toonies, my toonies always come back to me. You guys, your toonies ain't going to come back to you. <laughs> so there's a difference on that one. Um, just like MFers, they don't have a swear box. They have a swear jar. Which is totally different, but they, his is his. Michael Klotz's doesn't lock up under lock and key. <laughs> He's got a, one of those bank holes. He's got to slide it in. Um, so again, um, if you notice, two on the top of my nickname profile, full name. Uh, my full name is Timothy S. Plain. I do go by. I do by. I do go by Tim. I all, I go by Tim and Timmy for short. Um, my camp summer nickname from when I was a kid, uh, is just a Nick, it's just, just a summer nickname, by the way, it is not connected to my real name. It is just a, just a, like a brotherhood, uh, street camp name, uh, which, which I was known as a gypsy rover since I was a child, since I'm a camp. So. So if you hear the word gypsy rover referring, that is me still. Uh, I'm the same person. Uh, sometimes I have long hair, but because I also work in a dentist office, uh, also too in the summertime, uh, because the way the heat gets, there is times where I do shave my head, uh, especially because the fact I do work in a medical office, I cannot have long hair in a medical office. Uh, again, it is, it is, I have to have short hair. I actually have to shave my hair off because I work in a medical office. I work in a dentist, dentist clinic dental clinic uh, you cannot have long hair because uh, you're in and around la in and around the lab you know you're in and around doctors patients that kind of stuff uh, so especially with the working on teeth whatever else at that so they do want to open gum incisions and that kind of stuff can't get hair in there um, so again there is there is how there's what you call very uh, health protocols to that kind of a job um, I only have, the good news is, um, cause on how busy I get with Rotary, um, I am going to, um, I only have this month left of newspapers and then I have, I've resigned my paper groups, uh, because I'm just so busy with, with volunteering with Rotary. Um, also because Optimist itself does not have many events left. Uh, plus, plus the fact that uh, they've done away with all their events, it's going downhill a lot more. That the president of the Optimist Club quit. Uh, I'm changing directions. I'm actually going Rotary. So I'm actually 
and because of the fact I am a, 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 a member of Friends of Rotary, which is a Rotarian club, uh, we just have no voting rights. We don't vote. We can't vote, but we pay $50 a year and we belong to Friends of Rotary, which is part of the Rotary, which is a Rotary club. So I am actually, I actually am a Rotarian, uh, but just not in voting. Um, so, so again, uh, so far as Optimus goes, I am changing direction and going more uh, because I can't afford to belong to both groups. So technically, and Ro Rotary is doing more events, doing a lot more volunteer events. They've got more events going on uh, that is going very strong. And so technically, I need more at Rotary than anything. So uh, te technically, I'm changing direction. I'm going towards. I'm going going the road rotary direction. So, um, so that way, that way, I'll be moving around to uh, to different events as they come up with rotary, which will be strictly. I'll be just doing rotary events only, helping out at rotary events only. Uh, now, uh, for Wyoming area for July the first, Rotary does not do Canada Day for Wyoming. Um, I am actually looking at uh, helping out in Southampton. Uh, so some members from here may go down to uh, Southampton on July the first to help out uh, with with Canada Day in Southampton or Sable Beach area. Like so Southampton does. Uh, Canada Day out at Solo Beach, which is Rotary. Um, so again, it is it is Southampton direction. So like I said, so so I will continue on helping out with the Canada Day festivity, but it won't be Wyerton. It will be with uh, with uh, some of our Wyerton people will go to and go in and help out uh, with the Southampton group. So I'm going to hook up with uh, with Rotary International. Uh, people that are, anybody from Rotary International, Wyerton, if they're going out towards uh, South uh, Southampton for that July first to help out, I'm uh, hook, I'm carpooling with them and going out to help out with Canada Day, uh, the other side of Sable Beach or Sable Beach and out. <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Like I live here, but I'll be going out there to help. Uh, same with my uh, <coughs> Maple Magic coming up in the spring, uh, which is the spring of 2019, which is out at the Elk Farm. I'll be going out there to help out and that kind of stuff too, to help out Rotary there. And then uh, in June uh, is amazing of 2019. Amazing Race will be back. And uh, with uh, August... The first, the, the first weekend of August, which is Civic Holiday Weekend here in Wyerton, will be August 2019. Will be the Rotary Village Fair again, and uh, the Shore to Shore Run uh, Marathon from the Elk Farm into Wyerton. I'll be helping out with that next year. I'll be I'll be getting in on those projects next year to help out um, wherever the help is needed, even if it's just supplying the runners. Water or whatever, helping them hand out water to the runners and that kind of. You don't need it because if you get hot out there. Um, so again, uh, so again, like I said, there's more options with Rotary than than there is with with than than uh, than what Optimist has because Optimist has gone is gone downhill enormously. Uh, so so I will be resigning Optimist and going Rotary direction only. Um, so so that way everything is easier on me. And uh, so again, I, I am filling my time schedule up totally different here, and uh, making myself more available than anything. Uh, so so again, this way, uh, this way, uh, there won't be a crisscross confliction, and uh, that way I am only with the that way I'm only gonna, instead of being with two service clubs, I'm only going to be down to one service club. Uh, so again, that'll be. Um, so, so that that is uh, that that is that is what is set for the new year, um, or before. Um, other than that, Rotary, we do have our golf tournament coming up in August, uh, which is coming up, which is a big golf tournament, by the way, which is out of golf course. Um, so, so again, I'll be doing some. 
uh, probably going to go out and help out with that as well. I'm actually going to make myself available for Maple Magic next year. Uh, so again, I'll be there. So strictly, I will be only servicing Rotary only. I'm no longer going to be a part and service optimist. Um, um, at all. Um, means directly I'm going Rotary direction. So I'm doing more, I'm going to be going and doing more for Rotary than anything. Uh, because they've got a lot of good lineup of events where they need to help at and that kind of stuff as well. So, so again, uh, again with Optimus, there's no events left, nothing. Um, they, they've they've gone downhill too much. Uh, so, which is under which is kind of an, an, an understanding. So, I'm I'm going to want to actually give my recognition. And resigning, I will be resigning Optimist itself. Just like you know, the symbol behind me, guys, is is uh, people get confused. Uh, the symbol behind me is Rotary International symbol, which is a sailor wheel, a uh, ship wheel, where it says up here it says, it says Rotary and then it says International. Uh, that's that's the Rotary, that's what a Rotary symbol looks like. Optimist is some stupid alien thing. Um, <laughs> uh, which got a church pulpit and it's got a little bit of a squirrel to it uh, and that kind of thing. So that is kind of kind of different. Uh, those symbols are totally, 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 totally different. But this one here, guys, is ro this here resembles rotary. Uh, so again, um, so those are some of the updates. Plus, Rotary uh, also is going to do a float. Uh, they do every year. I think they are got the same plans this year as well. Rotary is going to do a float this year for the Santa Claus Parade. And uh, so, again, Rotary International. Friends of Rotary. Ro uh, Friends, of Ro uh, Friends of Rotary. Uh, Rotary International itself is going to have a float in the parade um, like they do every year. So, so again, the... the Rotary is out more and doing more. A little is a lot more stronger in events, and uh, there's a lot more. They're more powerful when it comes down to to running uh, fundraisers or events or whatever like that kind of stuff like that. And uh, so, so again, you never have to worry about them dropping things, uh, or you know, or, or cutting back on uh, cutting back on events because they. They're always opening, running, and open and operating more and more events. They keep adding up. They're not downsizing their events. They're taking away their events. They're actually making them bigger and better and stronger, which is that I like. Optimist now is kind of funny because Optimist has done away with the fancy tea. Uh, really weekend. They've done away with – they're talking about doing away with the fashion show. Uh, again, and also, too, there's some talk – uh, that they want to do, a, they want to hand candidate a over to another group. Now, that's that's what I said. That's that's what I said. It can end up being Lions Club or whatever. That there's or back to the township. So <clears throat> there, there's there's a lot of everything's up and down like a marionette and puppet with the Optimus Bunch. So I'm actually going to give my recognition to them. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, and basically, I'm a paid-up member with Friends of Rotary. So technically, I'm going to go. I'm technically going Rotary direction. Uh, so as for my service club, I will be going Friends of Rotary. So I'll be doing more with Rotary. Uh, so again, with more events and that kind of thing, going to help out the Rotary events more so because I needed more there than anything. Um, there's there's more volunteer work there available than there is for the Optimist. Um, so I go. I'm going where the work is. <laughs> so, um, so, so again, I'm going where the volunteer work is. So, uh, where where it's where it is more of a bigger success uh, than is than is being less of a success. So, um, so those are some of the updates, and. Um, 
also to the odd time, I still sit back and play my video games and watch movies. I, again, I got my shelf units full of movies. I got that big cupboard back there full of movies. All my horror movies, I've got them all in divide sections. Uh, again, I've got uh, I've got everything from space section. I've got everything to action section. I got everything from comedy section, um, war, um, you name it. All my horror movies in that big cupboard behind me. All full of horror movies. The whole top shelf, all full of horror movies. Um, and then I've got my bar fridge uh, that I always keep stocked up. Uh, I'm going to get my birthday party supplies, and it's going to be stocked up in the fridge. And uh, and that, oh, by the way, I just also too, guys. If you guys are looking for very cheap cheap places in Wyoming to buy movies, DVDs, uh, blue for Blu-rays alone, uh, you can go to Home Hardware Building Center, about nine dollars, maybe a little cheaper. Same with DVDs. Uh, Salvation Army Thrift Store, very cheap place to buy DVDs and Blu-rays, and even VHSs. And uh, also to the other the other place you can go now is Foodland. There's a bin at Foodland. Uh, I just bought this one here from Foodland. Whole shelf at Foodland for four mixed between four nine nine and nine ninety nine. Uh, up at Foodland, there uh, story. There's a movie bin where you can buy DVDs. I know I haven't seen all Blu-rays there yet again, but so far it's all DVDs. Uh, that you can get from four from four ninety nine up to nine ninety nine. Very cheap place, a bin full. Um, that you can you can buy you can buy movies from. Really 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 cool deal. Uh, very cheap place to buy. Them. So again uh, again they, they they're getting they're getting very stocked up in movies, and uh, and that, they have a big selection to choose from today, uh, and uh, and that kind of kind of thing. Went, but buy my pop which was on sale too then i stopped by and i'm like hey cool there's been choice of movies they had uh, all three for 4.99 i think 4.99 or 9.99 they had all they had all three of the jurassic parks there are uh, in the bin so uh so again uh so again it's, uh it's like go check it out um So, so again, like I said, that is really, really, really cool. Um, I, I like, and then also too, where the tea room used to be, uh, I guess somebody said there was supposed to be another co new coffee shop in town. I have never tried it out yet. Uh, I have no clue where it is. I haven't even seen it. Um, it's somewhere up on down Burford Street. But anyways, where the old tea room is, the old learning center is on uh, Burford Street. In there, there's a little bookstore. You can also buy DVDs there for three dollars a piece. Uh, sometimes I buy, I go in and see her, and I buy some DVDs for three bucks. Not bad deal. Um, she sells cheap books too. Uh, so, so again, uh, so again, whatever book you're looking for, she has it in there. You're looking for picture books, or just fairy tale, horror books. Um, I, I, that's what I might say. There's one uh, one book I'm looking for that I don't want to get. Uh, and I'm not paying 122 bucks for a paperback book. Uh, no way. Uh, you pay for it on Amazon. They can go shove that up to Keister. <laughs> just for, just for, just for, because of the shipping and that. I had, it probably comes out of that because of the shipping and it costs and that kind of stuff too. But just for a book that I like that was by Washington Irving, you go on Amazon. A one hundred and twenty nine dollars alone, plus tax and plus, uh, also on top of plus your shipping and handling, uh, for the Legend of Sleepy Hollow for the whole thick paper book, uh, alone of it, um, which is probably a hundred pages long. Like I said, not everything in the movies is like you know everything in the movie, everything in the book is way different than the movies. So like I said, that, that that's. Man, that that is like, that is that is that is climbing up the hill there, um, for a good book. Now, I, if I do read a book, that's the kind of book I probably read. Um, other than that, I don't read books. 
I turn, I put my DVD player, I put my DVD in my DVD player, and I turn on the subtitles, and that's as close to a book I get. <laughs> and I read the subtitles, and I read my movie just as I'm watching a movie. I read it like a book. I had to do that with my one movie uh, because it is in Spanish. Uh, it, it was never made in English. Uh, Pan's Labyrinth was never ever made for English viewing. In the English language, it was only made for Spanish culture only. It was only made in Spanish. Uh, so I put the English subtitles up so I can actually sit there and as I'm watching the movie, I read it just like you are, like you would a book. Um, so, so again, like I said, that is, that is really cool at that end on that one. And, um, so, so again, over in the future time too, uh, cause I think this DVD player of mine is not going to last much longer. I'm actually looking at uh, buying a combo DVD player and Blu-ray player together in one system. Um, later on down the road, I'm going to replace this. I've had this one for years. I'm going to be. I'm going to buy a brand new DVD and Blu-ray player and one in a combo, and uh, and replace this old DVD player and that kind of thing. So, um, so so again, that is on my to-do list. I got a lot of things on, on my to on my to-do list, and uh, and that so. Um, also, too, uh, also come December, um, Santa Claus Parade is all the same. I don't need to live stream that. I did that last year. Remember Stay Parade. I did that last year, too. I live streamed that as well. Uh, that's all the same. It stays the same every year. I don't need to live stream that again this year. New Year's now is different. It does change because the year changes or whatever. Uh, we can change. We can change the show. Uh, we can change the show around for that. Not a problem every year. Uh, so again, New Year's is going to stay. This, New Year's is going to stay coming on live. Um, so so again we, again New Year's we're going to keep we're going to keep we're going to keep live streaming New Year's because New Year's always changes. Um, so again, that is uh, that is that is some of the updates. Um, we're always looking for uh, new ideas and that for live to, to, to live stream on our shows and that kind of stuff as well. And um, whatever whatever opportunities we get, we go for. It. And um, so so again, like I said, that is that is some of the updates. And uh, I'm probably going to sit back and probably finish watching my movie that I, again. I have to rewatch for the fourth time in a row. But uh, my fridge is really getting a good makeover behind me here. Uh, it's, it's looking better than me. <laughs> um, but again, I put that in as a joke as well. And uh, so anyhow, I hope everybody has a great night. And uh, thank you for tuning in. And this was your Joker's on duty. Have a great night, guys. Bye.